Again, 80 is nice. We've been as warm as 85. We've not hit 90 yet. Tomorrow we will. 59 degrees, mostly clear tonight. Those winds less than 15 miles an hour. The whole state is going to be in pretty good shape for the next 24 hours. 51 currently. Again, we have winds less than 10 miles an hour. It's a sunny start to the day. It's gorgeous. 48 into Coeur d'Alene. The hot weather, though, is out there, and it's into the southwest. This sweltering heat, uh, temperatures in excess of 107 degrees, some 110 to 115 degree weather is expected, and into the Pacific Northwest. We're on the northern side, so just be aware there. Um, <clears throat> we do have severe weather into parts of Minnesota, but we're continuing to see some cloud cover that's coming across. That's going to be our forecast for the next uh, 72 hours. Just some high thin clouds moving across, some mountain showers that are pushing in. That's going to take us all the way into parts of Canada. So we're not expecting any huge wet event, but we are expecting to see uh, the potential for some rain showers really into North Idaho. The water vapor, this is dry air here. The wet or the white is the wet weather. There we go. So you can see into parts of North Dakota, Minnesota, it's there. Look at the dry weather that's coming through parts of California. This is what's coming into our world. And we're really just a, a medium consequence when it comes to the, the moisture. We've got a little bit out there, certainly this morning after the rain showers yesterday, firing up into Oregon but not for Washington. Our highs today are going to be around 80 degrees, mid-80s into the central part of the state. Seattle's going to be sunny in 82. It's going to be gorgeous. We're going to hover around the 50s as we take a look at our current conditions right now. It's a nice start to the day, seven-day forecast. Again, 92 tomorrow. Uh, boy, it's uh, coming in late.